now let's talk about uh, some more uh, concepts of transactional replication this is the source server here we have the database you have the log reader agent this is uh, distribution database okay so the distribution database is on separate server distributor okay this is uh, server d and this is the target server and you have the the target database here okay uh, let's say you are doing pull subscription that means you have distribution agent here okay so it is uh, pulling the records from the distribution database and inserting into the tar uh, target uh, the database okay so now a log reader agent as i told you before it reads the changes from the source database from the active log file okay the database will have mdf and ldf file so it reads the records from the ldf file it uses the command called sp repl commands it uses sp repl command its extended stored procedure to read log records from the source database log file and writes the records into the distribution database okay and if you wanted to browse uh, the commands whatever the commands it is writing you can use sp repl browse command okay and it the log reader it it calls the sp repl command stored procedure and and it reads the records and write it into the two tables here it is uh, ms repl commands okay similarly ms repl transactions so there are two tables in the distribution database so it uses uh, the log reader uh, it executes sp repl command and uh, and the sp repl command it reads from the source database and write it into the two tables okay so your distribution agent job it reads from these commands uh, table and write it into the target database so let's talk about uh, the snapshot replication snapshot replication you have the source server here you have the target server okay you have the snapshot agent it creates a snapshot agent it reads the the database it reads the source tables because it has to generate the entire database copy so it it executes the bcp command to copy the entire database entire tables into the snapshot folder okay the snapshot folder the unc path snapshot folder so the snapshot folder it will be on the distribution distribution server so if the distributor if the distributor is on the same publisher okay this is the source server right so this is the publisher source server is publisher you can put the distribution database on the same server as publisher so in that case this will be on the same server okay so basically snapshot if you if you are setting up snapshot replication typically you will see a snapshot agent will be created the snapshot agent the job is it, its its purpose is to bcp the tables into flat files 
and you have the distribution agent job on the target server which reads the snapshot folder and write it into the target database that's what happens in replication because you don't have the log rate agent because you are not reading uh, the continuous uh, transactions that are occurring on the database server all all you need is just take a bcp out of all the tables and apply them on the target server that's it that's it okay so you need two agents here one agent one process snapshot agent runs on the publisher uh, sorry uh, the, the distributor the, if you configure the distributor same as the publisher then you will see snapshot agent the publisher the snapshot folder everything will be on on publisher okay so the distributor agent will be on the target server so this is what typically the snapshot replication is now let's talk about uh, peer to peer in the peer to peer so you have source server you have target server so this is like setting up two transactional replication in two different direction okay so you have log reader agent okay so which this reads uh, records from this database and write it into distribution database okay and you have distribution agent job it could be either here or here depends on push or pull okay so basically wherever it is uh, it just reads the distribution database write it into target database similarly <coughs> similarly uh, you have log reader agent which reads the records from here and write it into distribution database and you have distribution agent job which reads from source database and write it into the target database okay so if you see you have four agents you have four processes one process is this okay you have other process is this so you see that here log reader agent reads and after that it goes the data it goes here and again log reader agent the data goes here okay this is actually to the transaction replication transactional replication going this way okay going this way and here you see transaction replication same setup here and another, another transaction replication going this way okay so it's setting up two transaction replicas application okay so that's what the peer to peer is now let's uh, set up uh, the transactional replication i have three servers you can see here uh, this is my default instance this, and this is my publisher and this is named instance sql inst1 this is my uh, subscriber target server and uh, th this is my third instance which is uh, named instance again sql dist okay and i'm going to use this as publisher subscriber and distributor okay I can put distributor on the same publisher okay I don't need to have a separate distributor but it's better to have a sub separate server for distributor so that I can reduce some workload on this uh, publisher okay so here you can see I have three servers now I'm going to set up the transactional uh, replication okay uh, I'm not uh, I'm not going to explain uh, in the beginning uh, too many uh, inner details I'm going to uh, quickly uh, set up the replication and show you how it works basically you see that here I have a database called replication test DB okay in that uh, in the table sorry uh, in the database I have one table called customer now I have the same database replication test DB on subscriber there are no uh, uh, tables there it is just a blank database okay I just created a blank database so now I'm going to replicate uh, the data from this server to this server okay that's my goal I'm going to set up the transaction replication first I have to set up the the distributor so to set up the distributor I have to identify where is my distribution database is going to be so now I uh, for that I have to come here to the distributor okay if I don't have a distributor uh, so in some cases as I told you I can specify my publisher as a distributor 
now i have to set up the i have to configure the distributor okay so you have to come to the distributor you have to identify uh, what is the distributor server is going to be in this case uh, my uh, my third instance here i specify this server as a distributor okay uh, i say okay this is my distributor and start the agent service automatically which is fine a snapshot data okay where the where the you know snapshot uh, uh, files is going to be okay and i have to specify the distribution database okay if you are following the video you know what is a distribution database and why do you need it okay so we need to have distribution database to store the the records the changes that are occurring because log reader agent is capturing and storing the records in this distribution database okay so that's what it is publisher uh, publisher is this server who is going to publish the data okay this server is going to publish the data i have to specify that server and i have to specify the password the reason why i tell you later but uh, you just give some password okay so configure the distribution okay now i identified this server as my distributor okay now you can see this server has one extra database distribution this is system database this is what we created okay now see here now i'm double click on it or expand now I'm, now we have to create the publication okay on this is publisher and this is subscriber so now we have to create a publication okay where is the distributor uh, do you want to act this server as a distributor or you want you, you have separate distributor server we have separate distributor server okay this is that server sorry not this yeah we have this okay all right connect what is the password we specified some admin one two three while configuring the distributor server we have specified a password okay so the whoever is going to publish the data whoever is going to send the data to the distribution database they have to specify that password to get in it's kind of authentication okay who is going to st uh, store the data okay uh, what is the database that you wanted to replicate because replication test db that's what uh, that, uh, that that's what we wanted to replicate okay so it is going to be transactional publication what are the tables that you wanted to replicate customer table okay so click next uh, do you want to filter any rows no i don't want to filter any rows uh, just send all the data okay create the snapshot immediately that's fine because we need the snapshot right uh, we need the snapshot to apply okay so snapshot how you want to run the snapshot use the sql server agent service account to run the snapshot agent okay similarly same account for log reader, log reader agent okay create the publication yeah go ahead and create the publication what is the publication name uh, i will say test pub okay okay i created the publication you can see that here i created the publication uh, now you will see there are some jobs here okay see this is executing this is log reader agent which is reading the log source database log okay and and uh, storing the records in uh, in uh, distribution database okay this is snapshot database it just ran okay it took the snapshot of the database now see here i am going to replicate the data here correct so now double click the replication now right click on new subscription i am going to subscribe because this is subscriber and this is publisher okay this is source server this is target server now i am i have to specify here okay i am going to create i have to create a new subscription and in the subscription i have to specify who is publishing the data okay this server okay i have to specify that server and in that server there could be multiple publication which publication you wanted to subscribe okay click next uh, push or pull i told you before uh, where you want to run the distribution agent job okay so i select uh, doesn't matter for now just we are going to set up one simple replication just to show you how that how you can replicate the data okay later i am going to recreate everything and 
uh, explain you uh, in detail of every every panel every option okay so whatever the pull or push uh, that's fine um, here you are saying okay who is a subscriber okay this guy what is subscription database this database correct so that is fine click next uh, specify how you wanted to run the distribution agent job okay run it under sql Server agent service account for now okay click next uh, how you want to how frequently you want to run the distribution agent job all the time keep continuously running subscription properties you want to initialize the subscriber right away yes create a subscription yep do it finish now you can see now we have completed the replication setup now you can see the table here okay we are in subscriber now you see you can see the table here <coughs> now uh, okay I have created some sample scripts okay let me show you some sample scripts uh, sub distributor script publisher script subscriber script okay so let's uh, all right so publisher <coughs> so right now you can see this is the publisher this is a publication database okay there is one table and there are no there are no records okay now I am in where am I am I am a subscriber I have connected this script again subscriber so let's change it to publisher okay this is my publisher uh, this is fine this is on subscriber okay this script which is fine distributor change this connection to distributor okay now let's uh, insert some records I am going to insert uh, you can see let's insert a uh, few records okay so I am okay this is one transaction you can see I inserted two records on the source that is subscribe publisher okay now let's connect let's uh, execute this from okay now you can see the records have been replicated okay so this this is how you set up the transactional replication okay now you are now you have successfully uh, connected now you can see i have another script which will keep inserting some rows into the table if, if you take a look at the script it uh, you can see that i am declaring a variable i am looping through i am keep on inserting records uh, delay is 3 seconds okay so uh, every two seconds it will keep inserting record into the customer table now you can see that here okay let's let's execute that okay uh, let's see what is uh, this okay this is the I'm, I have connected to publisher you can see I have inserted eight rows now ten rows okay I connect a subscriber execute now you get 11 rows because already we inserted uh, 11 rows now 13 rows yeah it uh, you can see that here uh, my count of the table okay now you can see every three seconds uh, the record is inserting on publisher it is getting replicated to subscriber okay so this is how you set up the transaction replication now let's take a now what we do we we remove the transactional replication again and I'm going to set up the the replication okay and, and then I will show you each and every option why we set up that way <coughs> 